guys, just remember with all integration problems, you're going to have a um, your dx here. So what we did was we evaluated our 2u, and then we did du dx of our, of our 2x. So again, if u equals 2x, if you do du dx of our, uh, of our 2x, du of 2x is then going to equal 2, right, if you take the derivative. And then multiply by dx on both sides. That's why we've got the 2 times dx. Um, so now that we're changing our integral from u, so now we're basically rewriting this as sine of u, and then 2 times dx is equal to du. So now if we're integrating from du, we don't want to use the same lower and upper bounds we use for x. We've got to use those upper and lower bounds for u. So that's why we plugged in pi over 4 into u, and we get pi halves. And then we plug in pi over 6, and we get pi thirds. So if we're going to change our function in terms of u, we've got to change our upper and lower bounds. Okay, Now, now that everything's in u, in terms of u, it's much easier to integrate here. We can integrate this to negative cosine of u, and then integrate from pi halves to pi over 3. Right? So again, just like what we've done before, you're just plugging in. So you have negative cosine of pi halves minus a negative cosine of pi over 3. So going looking at your unit circle, pi halves is there, which is 0. No, I'll just write minus 0, but it doesn't matter. Minus a negative. Cosine of pi over 3 is right here, which is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So that's going to be 1 half. Well, minus a 0 is nothing. Minus a double negative is going to equal positive 1 half.